buddy Joseph Green Mountain Gold Trap and I'm out today with Hung hopefully later on Mary will come I'll go get her she's gonna text me if she can make it but anyway um, got a good setup up here for Hung she's using her little sluice with uh, dream mat in it that one of my subscribers graciously sent to her so she's enjoying that she's already she calls it her little baby. <laughs> so, we'll see what she does with that. She's digging over in here. Of course, we got a, an inside bend. You guys have seen this spot before, any of you who watch my channel. Um, this just major boulder deposit here. But I've been eyeballing this down here for quite some time. And still at the tailing end of the inside bend, you see where my shovel is. I want to dig behind that, so I've already cleared out rocks. Of course, there's going to be more down below, but there was some big boulders in here. Um, that great big one right there was right about where my shovel is. Those were there, so it's a heavy dropout point. That one, these are from that one there is from when I did crevicing up in here. All these that I broke out, but that one got deposited here. All these bigger ones. So it should be a good spot. Towards this side, I noticed a lot of black sand when I when I put a couple shovelfuls on to see if I got a good enough setup. So we shall see what happens. I could dig and get very little, or I can dig and do pretty good. We'll, we'll see. I'll get back to you in a bit.
so I've got it dug down a fairly decent amount. You can see that one hell of a riffle here. Of course, when water comes around it, even if it's up higher, it's creating this little whirlpool over in here, kicking gold back here. That's my theory, and that's what I'm hoping. There is a considerable amount of black sand down in here that I'm seeing going down the skid plate, so time will tell. I'm going to keep digging this and see how far down this bedrock goes. It'd be nice if I could get down to the bottom of it, but I don't know. There's quite a drop right here. So, not sure. We shall see. And we have another guest. <laughs> Jerry showed up. <laughs> He's going to go up around the corner, though. Yeah. So. He's going to try it. All right, so where I have my gold trap set up, it's spitting material right back where I'm digging, so brainy idea to put it there. I'm going to move it over there, uh, right up in here somewhere. But, so I had to do a clean out. I've only been digging for maybe 25 minutes, and I've got eight pieces here. I can find them. There's one. And the rest are up top. So not too bad for 25 minutes. All right, I'm gonna get this reset up, get back to digging. easy as that I moved it from right there to over there and I got some really wicked pressure it's gonna love it I think I might drop a rock in a big rock in the water right there to divert the, the current around where I'm digging make it easier to dig back in a bit yeah, check this out she takes care of me at the river. Every time we come, she brings food. What do we got here? Venison uh, soup, stew, yeah. something. Venison soup. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Don't want that to spill. I've already had a bowl. Bread with butter on it. No more making that. That's all right. Okay. I'm going to eat that. You want to have some bread? I'm eat a good, well, I'll have another piece of bread, too. Yeah. How about that? Put a couple pieces of your gold in there. <laughs> I don't have no gold yet. I'm dying again, see? I still have my, oh. All right. So I'm going to eat that, and then I'm going to get back to work. got Mary. <laughs> happy to see Hung. Hung's happy to see her. So I got to reset the gold trap because when I did a clean out before Mary, before I went and got her, it shifted a little bit. So no big deal. I'll fix it. Then I'll get back to digging. There goes ducks. Nice. Gone down quite a bit further. All right, gotta get that fixed. Yeah, Mary's up there doing a pan. I suggested she pull it from out of up there. A lot of clay. We'll see what comes of that, but I'll tell you, it was really red, red material. <laughs> So I have dug this down quite a bit. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pull the capture tray and see what's in it this time. And then I'm going to probably go, I'm going to find some place where I can break up some bedrock along here, maximize my take for the day. So I'll get back in a bit.
All right, so in this spot where I was able to break out a bunch a couple years ago, I mean, this all used to be what you see here was like that all the way across. This was all broke out. And like I said, I did really well here. So I found some more loose pieces and just started scraping down the material. Got some good stuff in here. I'm gonna get all that work down to in here and pick it up, see what happens. And I did my, because Mary was using the gold pan, I just went ahead and put my capture tray in there. So I'm just adding what I rinsed the rocks off is in there and whatever. Well, of course, this will go in my pan, but so get back to you in a bit. Hey, right, got it all cleaned up the best I could. Um, can't really rinse it down because it's going to go right in the water. Maybe some other time I'll rinse it down, I'll dig it up, but whatever. I'll take you up and show you how much I got in the pan. Oh, I also took my real crevicing tool and stuck it in between those two rocks and pulled a bunch of material down, shoveled it off there. So I'll bring you up to the pan. I'll have Mary film the panning it back. Back in a bit. Well, that's what's in the pan from Crevison. I don't know if there's anything in it. I'm going to speed it up so I don't bore you to death. me up to 53 pieces for the day so far and I still have to pan what came out of the capture tray. So there's that. Now I'll pan out what's in there. pieces or so right, right up there so that brings me up to 87 88 for the day not what I'm used to but I'll take it Be back to you in a bit to wrap this up all right, everybody, so that's going to wrap it up for the day. I did bring my drone with me today, but I didn't have a good enough single uh, signal to launch it, unfortunately. So sorry about that. I was going to try to get some drone footage down here. Didn't work out. Didn't work out. But anyway, 
Um, little announcement. Starting tomorrow for a week, uh, Shrip 63. His name's Steve. He's going to be coming with his dog, Turner. I think Turner's coming. I hope he is because I want to meet Turner too. But anyway, he'll be with me for a week. We've got maybe a couple days where it's not going to rain. Getting kind of sick of the rain. All you guys out in California, I wish I could send it to you, but like uh, Josh Ortiz, Ortiz. Sorry, I wish I could, believe me, but I can't. <laughs> anyway, I thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Take care, everybody.